a lot, a lot of things really so um obviously so my original journey like kind of main sport was hockey um yeah played played for Wales for um up until 2012 and then that's when I I never realized that my disability kind of made me eligible for Paralympic sport um so athletics kind of came because I, I loved athletics and I loved sprinting and so when I got into para sport in 2012 that was the one I really wanted to do um kind of didn't really massively consider many other sports I, I did try cycling and things like that but um loved the athletics and I never knew with para canoe that again I thought I'd only ever seen like on the all the media stuff had always been kind of athletes in wheelchairs so I just presumed because it was an upper body dominant sport that that you know I'd never even thought I'd be eligible um and then kind of a couple of years ago so I think it was probably 2018 um they kind of approached me um via my head coach in athletics and they kind of mentioned saying oh you know we're looking for people in, in with these kind of lower limb deficiencies um so because I've got a fused ankle so that's kind of I put I'm kind of in the same as the like lower limb amputee class um and yeah they kind of asked me and I was kind of like well I didn't think I'd be classified in there and I loved athletics and I was never gonna kind of stop doing athletics essentially but with me as I say I, I competed against the blade athletes and every year I'd get like faster but also then the the kind of blade technology would go up and there's kind of people you know the times were getting quicker and quicker that the blade athletes could, could produce um and so I was then I said no in 2018 I was like no I'm fully athletics and then 2019 I kind of throughout life I've kind of just gone on you know you just need to say yes to some opportunities sometimes and um yeah that desire to just kind of give it a go kind of took over it in um in the end well at the end of 2018 actually I, I then um just thought oh I'll you know I'll just give it a go I thought I'd be pretty rubbish at it um but yeah it turns out I, I was quite good at it and kind of throughout the end of 2018 um chipped off loads of time off, off my time kind of learned the technique and luckily I kind of had obviously that baseline strength from training athletics just not as much training in my upper body but it kind of came really quickly and yeah kind of went from there in 2019 got on my first team with a minute the games kind of got obviously postponed it was a bit of a obviously down a couple of weeks because we were really disappointed gutted like kind of your motivation just completely drops but then all of a sudden that, that kind of switched to a actually there's a huge opportunity here to just I don't have to worry about performing or going fast I can literally go back to basics and start like honing in on that technique again and um, so for the obviously the first few weeks of lockdown we didn't have access to a lake but then once the canals opened I had my boat back home and I I just went to the canals kind of most days and I'd send videos to my coach and be like, right, exactly. What do you, what, what do I need to change? And like start from scratch and not actually worry about what we need to be in this prime physical fitness when we come to the games, because, you know, it's been delayed by a year. So I think massively I'm in a much better place now than I, than I would have been last year. And um, even just my confidence in knowing what I'm doing, like my race plan, what I do in a 200 meters and, knowing that I've had that year that extra year to just really learn the sport and and not have to rush it so much which was really good yeah well I think I think everyone obviously hopes to medal you you know you don't you don't kind of say like even through lockdown you don't put yourself for hours and hours of training if you don't want to do your best and try it and try and get a medal um obviously in in Rio my expectations were completely different I still wanted a medal but I knew like I was kind of going in ranked eighth or tenth and I came fifth in both events which was was great um but it's really nice to have I know you don't know there's some athletes that haven't competed since 2019 so the world champion herself hasn't competed since 2019 so we have you know you have no mm. idea what they're going to be capable of um but I do know like after racing at world cup this year and world champs I know I've got a chance which is which is really nice knowing that uh, if I pull out my best I, I've got a chance to medal and and try and challenge for that gold as well um, it's, it's a weird one with COVID because I say some people haven't competed so you know your time might be really competitive there might be others that, that can go faster you just don't know about but so I think realistic aim is you know go out there I know what I'm capable of and if I can go out there and perform to my absolute best then then hopefully can bring home home a medal um, and yeah see what see what the rest of the world does it's not it's a, you know it's just a, it's not like hockey or kind of the team sports where you can implement the other the other competitors you, you're just there racing 200 meters as fast as you can so I want to get out there fully fit and um and give my kind of best race uh try to get some quick times and and hopefully that will come out with a good result 